Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, so, back on this thing and um, just took a chunk of scrap hardwood there and um, basically drilled two inch and a quarter holes and one inch and an eighth holes kind of centered between the sides there. So, kind of when you stack them together in the little saddle portion there they're the same height so the line through the center I just kind of eyeballed that so it may or may not be you know the, I guess the line that splits them I guess you could say so basically I made these to have a kind of a little makeshift fixture to tack the fork together there so um, you know just basic you know holding it keeping everything in the same plane there that's kind of how I did it so uh, you know made that up and then um, you know kind of just going back on the uh, the uh, steer tube there uh, this is the I got the crown and then this is a piece of just uh, scrap inch and a quarter tubing that came off one of the bottom ends of the uh, fork legs there so you know the steer tubes inch and an eighth and inch and a quarter steer tubes isn't gonna won't really match up with that well so I went ahead and put this it was actually a pretty decent fit and you know like I said in the last video press fit that on and um, you know basically did the crown race press fit the piece of tube on filed it smooth you know so it was the bottom end was nice and flush and the end that I pushed against the crown um, was very straight already so you know and it was a pretty tight fit so it, I didn't really see it want to go on crooked or anything so it came out you know once I pressed it on there pretty straight so you know, just welded the bottom of the extra piece and the steer tube together and then here I'm welding up the uh, the crown onto the assembly as well so that all came out pretty good basically on both both uh, pieces there I just tacked it in four places and then just kind of went around and connected the dots on you know kind of opposing ends try to keep the heat somewhat regulated um, you know I'm not doing any purging per se but you know it's I plan on capping the ends of the fork legs on the bottom so um, just cutting a little vent hole here as well and you know just went straight through the tube you know where it goes basically there's a hole in inside of either fork leg tube where it joins up to the steer tube there and you know kind of allow some of that gas to escape or whatever um, so you know actually I kind of beveled each hole a little bit too just because this it's gonna be a this forks gonna be pretty probably heavier than what I ideally would want but you know it should definitely be strong enough I guess I think I kind of already said that once but yeah anyways um, just cleaning them up here a little emery cloths getting them ready for a little welding action there so basically just cleaned up the outsides there really well um, you know basically anywhere it was gonna be welded or whatnot and then I also did the uh, insides as well Got all the nice and deburred before, and then you know, just, just basically get everything that's gonna get melted or welded there into a nice shiny, bright metal, and then you know, took some acetone and cleaned all the surfaces as well. You know, and even after you sand it off, there's still quite a bit of you know, just residue and stuff on there, so. Um, you can kind of see that beveled hole there on the side, so I don't know. So yeah, you can see still quite a bit of junk and stuff in there. So get everything nice and clean, and you're ready for get it all welded up there. So um, kind of as I was positioning everything, I basically just uh, got everything perpendicular to the the edge or the edge of the slats. So. You know the fork legs you know I did the steer tube there and then this is the fork legs you know kind of position it get it straight and then clamp it down and you know from there it was 
ready for get her all tacked up there so um you know just tacked it all together you know ideally at some point i would like to have some more tooling to where i can build a a nicer jig or even you know buy a commercial jig from somebody but you know this I don't know I think that's kind of a misconception is that you need to have a really nice jig to to build build things frames or whatever but you know I, I, I would definitely love to have one but I, I don't think you know if that's what's holding you back from you know if you're contemplating building a frame or something I wouldn't let that be anything that holds you back you know you can definitely do a low budget version the way I'm doing it it just takes longer to do it but you can still build a definitely a straight frame or fork or whatever you're interested in doing so um, just finishing welding up the fork here and you know not I don't know not great welds I'm pretty not super happy with them but you know I think they'll definitely be Strong enough, good penetration, not any undercut or anything like that, so I'm okay with it. Um, so here it is, got it laid up on my little, the life size drawing, and came out pretty nice, just, you know, a little slightly wider, but, um, you know, there's still plenty of room to get the, the dropouts on, but, you know, it was good that I did it all before, because, you know, this is you know basically getting the fork hiked down and I kind of discovered that it is gonna I'm gonna need to modify my drawing there by about I don't know 8 to 10 millimeters or so because we did end up with a little bit taller section from tire clearance to the bottom where the crown race goes on so I'll adjust that a little bit accordingly when I'm gonna do the actual frame build and um, finish this fork off in the next uh, series so yeah thanks for watching